Hey YouTube, Michael Double X the Beast here tonight. Um, it's Fourth of July, um, about seven forty-five here in Texas. I figured I'd uh, shoot a little little uh, June update video. Um, I meant to do this uh, a few days ago, but I was waiting on one package that, that kind of got delayed, so it came in yesterday. And and uh, figure I'll, I'll go through uh, show what I got this this month. I had a pretty pretty crazy uh, pretty crazy month as far as pickups that I, I wasn't really expecting. Um, and so I, uh, I was very, very blessed with some of these additions. The first two cards, these aren't cards I normally would pick up. I mean, I, I'd say that I, I might would pick them up if they're in a lot or something, but I'm, I'm really just sticking to the more rare cards under number under 150. But the first two cards I'm going to show, actually, uh, these just got pulled for me in a group break uh, that Brant did on, uh, on our uh, 90s, 90s uh, baseball card group that we're in. And, and he does the group breaks under uh, Retro Breakers. And uh, very fitting name, this is uh, from 98 Upper Deck Retro. And this is a uh, new school, obviously it's Scott Rowland. And this is the double, I believe is what they're called. Uh, it's number to a thousand. Um, so pretty cool, um, just, just, you know, getting it pulled and, and, uh, Having it, you can see the silver fool, um, and the silver fool for his, his first name there, Scott. So, not not anything crazy, but a but, but a cool addition just because of that. And he also pulled this one out of uh, ninety nine um, uh, uh, metal molten metal. I was drawing a blank on the name of it. Um, and this is the uh, supernatural uh, supernatural uh, parallel, and it's the the blue parallel. And uh, these are numbered to, to 500. I don't know how well you can see the serial number there, but it's uh, 355 of 500. So these are great looking cards. I still need the, the Fusion Titanium, the gold one like this, um, which is uh, number to 50. But you can see these are great looking cards. And like I said, cool, cool being the, essentially the only one to ever own it. Um, up next is, uh, this is from 2000. For Skyblocks uh, limited edition. This is the rare form. This is the Jersey uh, Jersey card version. Um, I have the one of one that doesn't have the Jersey. And so I figured, you know, as, as I see these, if they're come up reasonable, the rest of them, I'll, I'll try to put the whole rainbow together. And uh, they, they look great. I, I fell in love when I saw the uh, the one of one and picked it up. And you can see how reflective these are. Uh, they're, they're definitely not a card that you, you you might would even think about picking up if you just saw it on eBay in a scan, but when you see the surface and everything, they look great. Um, obviously, the name is fitting, uh, rare form, and they're they're very very rare. It's number to, to fifty there. Um, next is a very cool Scott Rowland. This is ninety eight Ultra, and it's the platinum. And Season Crown is a subset within uh, ninety eight Ultra. And you can see the reflective full and then the silver, the silver uh, finish to the card. And uh, they're numbered to 100, 34 of 100. I don't know how well the serial number is going to show there on the camera. Very cool card. And this one, this one, uh, big shout out to uh, John Burleson, Spurs, Spurs fanatic. Um, if you see him on Instagram. He, uh, he actually had this sent to me, picked it up for me. A um, little, little birthday present, I believe, uh, there at the 1st of June. And uh, it's, a, it's a rave. It's a 99 Skybox Thunder rave. Uh, these cards are great. I still need the super rave. Um, and uh, put the, when I put this on Instagram, I, I jokingly said this is the, the Scott Rowland uh, birthday edition because Scott Rowland's birthday is 4475 and the uh, serial number on it is 44150. But uh, really, really like these cards. They, they, they look great. And since I've got the rolling, I uh, figured I might as well have the No More. So I picked this up also. Um, same set, um, numbered 150, it's numbered 127 of 150. Um, cool card, just like the rolling. I like the, I like both of them, the, the poses they got on both of them, kind of finishing their swings, uh, classic. Classic poses from both of them. Um, up next, I've got the I've got the no more of this card. So I, I saw the the rolling uh, there on Facebook from another collector, and that's the '98 Flare Showcase. 
it's the Row Zero Legacy Collection. Um, these are just obviously some of the best looking cards you can get. I've, I've always always been been a fan. I'm not a big fan of you know uh, horizontal base cards, but but these are the exception. These these may be the best of the best. Um, number ninety of one hundred. And you can see it's the, it's the pack pulled version. Serial number going up the side over here on the left, and the name is in foil. That's the two things you want to look for um, to make sure it's pack pulled. Up next is 04 EX, and this is the credentials. And I think this is the credentials now, if I remember correctly. Um, these are probably not up there on the top of the list of my favorite credentials, just because there's not a lot going on with them, just kind of a full red full front on it. Um, but you know, it's 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 rare. It's it's never due uh, to 60. You can see right there. But yeah, no, it's a feature. Excuse me, I said it wrong. It's just credentials feature. I don't know why I was thinking it was the uh, the now, but anyways, it's a uh, it's rare. Um, it looks yeah, you know, it looks okay. It's it's a nice looking card. It's nothing crazy. But uh, when I saw it pop up, I, I had to have it just to continue the run of credentials. Um, up next, this is from 99 Upper Deck, I believe. Uh, 99 Upper Deck Encore, and it's the Homer Odyssey. Um, obviously a play on, you know, the, the Greek Greek mythology with, with Homer and the Odyssey. And you can see the, the columns here on the side and, and the, the gold finish. And, yeah, they look great. It didn't cost much at all. It's a, these are nice cards for the for the money. Um, you can see the back there, Encore FX. Um, it's 052 of 125. Up next is I got my 12th um, 99 Top Tech Gold. This is uh, this is one of the better looking patterns. I I, I don't really know exactly what's going on with this pattern. A lot of them have some type of very specific design. This one's just got some randomness going on, but I like the uh, how reflective this one is. Some of them are a lot more reflective than others, and this is one of them that's, that's definitely one of the better looking ones. Very cool card. Um, it's pattern 21, um, 38B. So it's the B, it's the, the gray jersey um, is what it is. It's number three of 10. See the reflective back on these right there. Up next, 2001 Ultra, and it's the Platinum. And you can see No More with the classic jump throw pose there. No More wasn't, I wouldn't say, an elite defender. Uh, Scott Rowland was elite defender. No More, maybe not an elite defender, but he was uh, definitely above average defender. And that's just one of those classic poses of him throwing. You can see there's a lot of hollow full with his name and the position, the team, and the platinum right here, and then lots of silver, obviously. On these are these are really nice looking, uh, very rare at only 50 copies. And you can see the P right there signifying it's platinum. I really like that. It looks looks nice. Up next is is one of the absolute best looking 90s cards. Period. Uh, if these were numbered to say 50 or 100, um, these things would cost hundreds of dollars. And instead, you can pick up, you know, players like No More for 50 to 75 bucks. Um, but it's 99 Fleer Brilliance, and it's the Shining Stars Pulsars. And I posted this on uh, Facebook today and Instagram, and, you know, and said Happy Fourth of July. And that, to me, it just it just screams being a Fourth of July or Independence Day card with the colors and the stars and everything. So uh, definitely, definitely cool looking card. They nailed the reflective surface on it. They, you know, it's really, uh, really a simple design, but it just, it works with all the stars. And then this kind of fading going up, you know, leading up to the shining stars and almost a pennant shape behind him. And just, just the way it's, it's awesome. And the backs on these is, is partially reflective. And you can see where it signifies pulsars right there. I'm a big fan of these, though. They, they, they are outstanding. That may be a set I try to put together at some point. Okay, up next, um, this is a cool card, and I was able to snag it up here a while back ago. And this is 99 Bowman's Best, and this is the, the base version of No More, and it's Atomic Refractor. 
um, which I love the way these look. It's you know it's, it's great. They're great looking cards, but this one is very significant with the the, the five of one hundred um, jersey number. Well, um, what makes it so cool is if you remember one of my videos a while back ago. I also have the other one of the set, the best performer subset, and now I have both of them that are, are five of one hundred. So that makes it just a uh, you know, a little bit more special. Like I said, this one's the new one I got. This one I've had for uh, probably four or five months now. But so cool having both of them uh, jersey numbered together. You can see that popping around no more on both of them, and just the classic look of '99 Bowman's Best. These are these are great looking cards, and they don't break the bank. Uh, nice looking cards. Pick those up if you see them. Um, up next is this, this is just a, a visually a, a, a great looking card 99 uh top skull label and this is the race to aaron and this is the red the red version or red label if you will um you can see the the black and white um uh, photo of, of hank aaron in the back just kind of gives it that nostalgia feel and then the color photo there of no more in the in the foreground and then the red um the red hollowful you can see how reflective that is just with, with with the red colors of No More's jersey, you know, having some red on the jersey and everything, and then the red up here, I think it just makes for a just an outstanding looking card. I mean, just it's tough, it's tough to get a better looking card than that with with especially having the great Hank Aaron, you know, on the card with him and and everything, and and very cool. And these are rare. And this is another ninety nine. You've seen my other videos. You you know how frustrating the serial numbers are on these. Um, but it's 34 or 44, and you can kind of see which 44 is Hank Aaron's jersey number, and that's why they're they're numbered to that. But great card, just a just an absolute monster of a card, I think, just the way it looks. Very cool. Um, up next, we're going to do a couple of 98 uh, leaf fractal materials, and this is the uh, Z-axis die cut. And this is a checklist, but this is the blue. The blue version you can kind of see that checkerboard pattern i don't know if you can see it very good the, the light's kind of messing with me here but it's really hard to see the pattern but it's, it's kind of a uh, checkerboard and then the gold laid over the top of it um and these cards look great and then this this semi region's a little bit scuffed up too it doesn't help anything um but it's rare it's number to 50. i got this from uh, from bruce one of the collectors in our Facebook group. He was so very nice to uh, to let this one go and 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 sell it to me and and uh, definitely definitely love picking up these ninety eight uh, leaf fractal materials. Uh, it's just a one of the best sets that there are. Up next is another uh, another one from there. And this this semi rigid is kind of scuffed too. But this is uh, this is another checklist uh, of no more. And I think this is the plastic version, if I remember right. But it's a Z-axis die cut also, and you can see there are different photos. It's different different ones. Um, the difference is obviously the one on the left over here is number to twenty. So super super rare. Such a such a tough card to come by. And you can see nothing crazy with it except for you know the die cut edges, and then that absolutely impossible to find serial number of 20. And it's it's a cool serial number being one of 20. Okay, up next, um, I actually have now two of these. I, I picked up this one, it came across eBay um, there a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago. And so I already had this one. Um, this one's got a few scratches. Um, I'll show you them other video. This one's in, in much higher grade, um, but just, Awesome to see side by side, see two of them, and uh, you know, arguably the, the the best '90s card you can get, the, the credentials and just the reflectiveness with the acetate and just, I mean, you, you couldn't have done a better design. Thinking back now, knowing what these look like, it, you know, it'd be tough to kind of catching some shadow over here. But this, the new one I got is 36 of 97. You can see it right there. The other one I already had was 62 of 97. Like I said, this one's in a lot higher grade, um, and you know, thrilled to add another one. I wasn't really looking for duplicates, but uh, when I saw it, I saw it was a fair price. Um, rolling cards have been 
a lot harder for me to get than than no more cards. So I couldn't I couldn't pass it up. Very cool. Um, down to two cards left. Um, the first one is a very cool rolling card, and the other one's gonna be a no more. I'm gonna show. But this is 99 upper deck, and it's view to a thrill. And this is the the triple, I believe, is what it is, um, if I remember correctly. But it's the uh, it's not a one of one. It's number to ten, and it's ten of ten. And these things, I, I I'd seen them on eBay and things before. I don't know if I'd ever seen one in person, but when I saw it pop up, um, I, I knew I had to have it, so I went after it pretty hard. And then after getting it in hand, um, you know, it looks even better in person with the all with this etching on the hollow full, and then just this hollow full border all the way around. Um, just it's one of the better looking upper deck cards. Better, definitely one of the best die cut cards that they made. Um, of the era, they 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 at times I've, I've, I'm pretty critical of you know some of their ingenuity and the way they did things and and this this card does not fall into that category. It looks great and uh, I was very 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 happy to get it and uh, you can see the dot matrix style ten of ten there um, and then the hollow full just a uh, just a huge addition you know that and then the the other credentials for my rolling collection they're two of the better rollings that I have now. So uh, I was very, very, very proud uh, of this card and, and happy to happy to add it. Um, you can see the backs. There's nothing, nothing crazy on the back. It's just the uh, you can see the die cut. You can see the etching where it's been essentially stamped through the card. Um, but other than that, there's nothing crazy about it. But the front just, you know, that hollow full just looks great. And last, uh, certainly not least, this this card probably falls. Now in the top three, maybe five cards of my uh, No More collection. Um, and Bruce, the same one I got the blue fractal materials um, from, was so very kind to let this one go. And, and I got the other card from him first, and then uh, he hit me up asking if I was interested in this one, which we'd, we'd already discussed it quite a few times. And, um, and uh, we were talking about pricing and, and different things. And uh, we went back and forth and we were able to get a deal done on it. And, and I was thrilled to get this one added. Um, but this is the 97 totally certified and it's the uh, platinum gold. And you can see the full front um, and the hollow full right here where it says rookie and, and his name's in hollow full up here. Just a absolutely stunning card. From, from top to bottom. It still has the peel on it, which is uh, a must for me. I really won't buy hardly anything unless the peel is still on it. I'm just weird like that. And to add to this, Bruce actually is the original owner of this card from over 20 years ago. So it hasn't been passed around a million times like some of these have and, and things like that. And you can tell there's no chipping around the edges. Uh, it looks great. No color loss, no greening, nothing like that is, you know, as, as close to mint as you can get for, for one of these. But you can just see the, the light moving around behind it. And obviously, Rare doesn't really describe that. It's numbered 17 of 30 right there. And uh, you can see where it says platinum gold right there. Um, I think in one of my other videos, I stated that I thought the uh, – the 97 player showcase row zero legacy, maybe no more's best uh, rookie year card from 97. Um, at the time I wasn't even thinking about this card, obviously uh, this is probably far superior um, because of the rarity and just, just the way it looks is, is tremendous. But this was a huge addition for me and I, I can't thank Bruce Love enough for letting it go. Um, you know, that's really all I've got tonight. Um, some really, really uh, cool additions. Uh, a lot of stuff I got in this month or in, in June that I, like I said, I wasn't expecting. Had some, had some random stuff pop up and I was able to get. I've got a couple of cards coming in that'll be here maybe next week sometime. And then I've got uh, a few others that I'm working on trying to get. So hopefully maybe by mid-July I'll have another, another video. Um, another, another video update but for now that's all I've got so I, I thank everybody for uh, checking out the uh, video and 
subscribe to my channel for more uh, cool, cool 90s and 2000s baseball cards. Thank you.